home of adventure. Well, good morning and welcome back, M6 fam. We are still in Florida at Universal's Surfside Hotel. We're gonna have a Universal Studios day today. We're gonna explore the new DreamWorks and uh, just have a great day. We might hop over to Islands for a little bit, but today's focus is Universal Studios. Join us and let's have a magically blessed day. Here we go. to get some voodoo donuts. We're here a little early today, and we've already done a whole lot, so. But well, we didn't eat breakfast. We haven't made breakfast this whole time. We really time. have not eaten breakfast this whole time. This is true. So this might as well just be a I think the line goes this way, bud. I've done voodoo donuts a few times. We're not quite the day of. Usually we're trying to run to a park. Ooh, look at all those choices. I'm just gonna take one bite of whatever you choose, okay? okay. I'm not hungry. Cherry one's pretty cool. I like the voodoo doll. Looks like a stab. Already called him. Those right here. And he went with the Miami Vice Berry. Bur bur what is that? Berry? Vice Berry. And there he is. The voodoo king himself with his. What is it again? Nate, tell me the name. Miami something. Viceberry. Yeah. Viceberry. All right, let's go. Miami Viceberry King. King <laughs> Colt. King Bob! <laughs> Universal Studios, Florida. I had the first bite of his whatever mixed berry, whatever donut. <laughs> Rocks and berry. Oh, that was a ginormous bite. Oh my gosh. Oh, is it, huh? Oh. What does it taste like? <laughs> I don't really know how excited. It looks soft on the inside. I'll be the judge of this. Ooh, that's scrumptious. Definitely has that like berry taste to it. A little voodoo's donut. Well, in just a little bit, this will be full of people. They are prepped and ready to go. It will be an amazing day here at Universal Studios Orlando. I think we're gonna do Rip Ride first, over by The Mummy, and maybe Jimmy Kimmel. We might stay up front here for a little bit. We usually we usually try to go straight for Green Gods, but since we've been here for a few days already, we've been escaped from Green Gods a couple times. We're gonna do something maybe non-traditional. About two minutes later, this kid, just absolutely demolishing, demolishing that awesome donut. donut. Oh, good. And we're in. Pretty seamless today. Hey guys. We are going to. Oh, they are holding us. That's weird. Maybe we are a little early still. I guess it's 8:42. They did let us in a little early. Huh. Interesting. Hey, Colt. Maybe we should hit Minion Mayhem first. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna hit up Mindy Mayhem first. That one gets pretty full sometimes, so. Stop this here, it's about 8.45. And we're off, everyone's racing in the same spot. Oof, oof. Got a good hand on Colt. We're going to our first attraction. Mindy and Mayhem, and it is a mayhem getting in here. Holy moly. There is no need to Everybody's back. squeezing in. One of the first rides until uh, Express Pass gets going. Minion Man! Colt noticed some of the bombs here. And this is where the Express Line meets the regular line. Not bad, we'll be in the top view. Oh, sweet air conditioning. What are you doing? Yes, it's only 9 o'clock. Hey. Is this Poppy? Margo! What? There was a smudge. <laughs> I am evil clown. Fear my red nose. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. Bro, if you please don't let me do anything. Oh, we're just trying to keep it interesting. Uh, okay, just back. Come meet me in the minionization prep room so we can all get started. 
people here? Because you want to work for me. I usually take this time to interview new recruits one at a time, but I'm working on something really big today. So I'm going to have to do this kind of quick. <clears throat> Hello, I'm Gru. What's your name? Where are you from? Wow, that might be impressive. Question, question, question. And thank you. Anywho, boring civilians like you into minions. At first, there were a few minor snags. And a few major snags. Although I kind of like that guy. And that guy. I love that guy. <laughs> that guy really knows how to party. No, no worries, we have finally worked out all of the kinks, as far as you know. And now, you too can become a minion. That was awesome. It was a good one, wasn't it, buddy? Oh, what are we going into? Oh, it's the minion dance party. Boom, boom, party starter. Oh, it is fluffy. It is. Next stop, Rip Ride Rocket. I think you're tall enough. We'll check it out. And we gotta get a locker for this one. Oh, what a strange little event there that occurred. When we got on, they had just come out of delay. So Colt and I waited in the regular line. We rode it, we got off. As soon as we got off, they opened up the single rider. We were the front of the single rider, rode it again. As soon as we got off, it went down again. So I think it might be the conveyor belt. Um, it's either that or, I don't know, it's, the ride seemed a little more rocky than usual on that second ride. I don't know how rocky it is. Yeah. It seemed normal, it seemed normal both times. <laughs> but it was a 10 for me. The ride was a 10 out of 10, I loved it. Good, good buddy. We got ourselves a little slush. Now we're going to Race Through New York starring Jimmy Fallon. Panda. Pretty cool lobby here. When this gets real busy, they do a color coordination, come up here and you sit and wait. They have people who are singing at you a little bit, but it looks like we're just going straight into the entrance. Join Jimmy and his guests, you, and featuring the legendary Roots crew. Fifteen minutes. Looks like Rip Ride's going again now. Which is great. Usually good. Yep. We're gonna go hit the mummy. Well, there's a 35-minute wait for mummy, but it's actually standing out here. We're gonna see what single rider looks like. So Colt's gonna lock it right now for us. All right. We'll start off by saying the mummy is a stellar ride, isn't it? Yeah. We really enjoy it. But something crazy happened. Uh, so we did single rider, and they like pushed 10 people on from single rider onto the row. So. The first time, we were only in line for four minutes, maybe. It took us longer to walk to the line. We were straight walk on. Second time, the same thing happened. We rode in the same cart twice, yes. And the second time, we were, the second time we were right next to each other. Like, they pushed us both on. So, on and off, mummy, 45 minute wait, two rides, 20 minutes. Two rides of money, 20 minutes. You gotta check out Single Rider. It's worth it. 
let's test this single rider theory again. Transformers, the ride, single rider. In the interim, the single rider line, or if you happen to have any further questions, please see the first mile at the attraction. Line at 1040, 1041, single rider. Here we go. We walk right on Transformers, same part. Crazy enough, they were like pushing people to try to get to the single rider, which I thought was pretty interesting. I mean, we were on and off. We got right on. Central Park crepes, which your mother loves, but ever since I got sick on that crepe oh, back home, I don't know, just got a, got a weird texture to me. A yeah, brand new ET sign since the last time I've been here. It's like they don't have the wait time. Either it's not up or it's not working. More heading to ET. This is a classic. One of the best rides you could, you could do, I think, here at Universal. It says a 35 minute wait, but we were farther back last time and it wasn't a 35 minute wait. Hello, I'm Steven Spielberg, and it's my pleasure to welcome you to the ET adventure. <laughs> I'm assuming most of you have either seen it online already or maybe you haven't. Gabby's Dollhouse. I don't know who Gabby is. Swamp meet and greet. I guess it looks like you can meet Shrek, Donkey, and Fiona. It's kind of got a uh, Tiana's Bayou feel to it, but I guess that would be, that would make sense. Swamp thing. Oh, some snacks. Colt, snacks over here. All right, Colton's been wanting a snack here. What do we got, buddy? We got a Shretzel. Far, far a waffle, swamp dog, mud pudding. What do you want? Swamp dog, trexel, far, far away waffle. Pretzel. Pretzel. Oh, splash here for the kids. I don't think they have the uh, the really big splash pad anymore, but I could be wrong. Oh, there's a dryer here, so maybe there is. Little ogre, Shrek swamp for little ogres. High five, hideaway. The trolls, high five. Oh, high five, hideaway. All right, well, I gave in. What'd you get, buddy? Show us the two things. Uh, first, we got the pretzel, pretzel, which is literally a Shrek pretzel. And it's got this green stuff. You gonna try that, huh? Ah, we'll see what it tastes like. And then you got the mud puddle pudding. Mud puddle pudding. It came with a cool little shovel. And you said you're gonna what? 
You're gonna keep that, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, good thing you got your, sat your uh, satchel there. All right, we're gonna get some drinks. How about you take a bite of the shretzel with the green stuff? All right, we found out what the green stuff is. It's just cheese. It's just cheese. Probably. It's good cheese, too. Cool. All right. Oh, no, no, no. Pick the whole thing up and... Oh, okay. You're gonna what? break off an ear. <laughs> Give it a try. Oh, that's a lot of cheese. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This is gonna be messy. Oh, boy. Hold on. Hold on. Figure, be smarter. Be smarter about this. That's not smarter. <laughs> How oh, is it? Oh man, you're already looking more like a your ogre every day. Or is that your poppy? I can't tell. <laughs> okay, here at uh, here at Trolls Treats, looks like they have a bunch of ice cream, ice cream bars, which is pretty cool. High five hideaway, looking at stuffed animals from the different DreamWorks cartoons. You can see Poppy, Trolls, Kung Fu Panda, a lot of the Shrek ones. <laughs> See you're demolishing the dessert before your Shrek face. Yeah. Let's see it. Is it good? Yeah. Oh my gosh, how'd you get all that in your mouth? Oh my goodness gracious. Hmm. Well, we're gonna check out that Kung Fu Panda area over here in a second. And over here is the Troll Coaster, which they revamped from uh, Woody Woodpecker. So we'll take a look at both of those here in a second. Okay, my thoughts on uh, the Shrek head. It was good. Um, kind of flat, thought it'd be a little bit more like fluffy, but the cheese kind of took the cake. The cheese is very cheesy, like extra cheesy. Over here, obviously, there's absolutely no dessert left because you know, I got a single bite, I got one bite of this thing. That's all he said. That's all. Oh he no, he was like, ah. he's like, no more for you. Yeah, right there. That's the face. That's the face right there. Uh, how was it? it was yeah, it was real good. So, uh, we're gonna keep exploring. All right, Cole, as far as snacks go, how do you think that was? It's really good. I mean, in the end, it's pretzels and pudding, mud pudding. Got some more sunscreen on. I thought the pretzel was meh. You like the pretzel, though. The cheese was the best part. Cheese is real good. The cheese was amazing. And then I thought the mud pudding was actually really good. Uh, and I've had some really, I've had some crappy mud puddings, but that was good. So I'll give that probably eight out of 10, eight and a half out of 10. The pretzel, five out of 10. The cheese. Maybe a nine out of ten. That was really good cheese, wasn't it? Yeah. All right, we're gonna go explore a little bit more. I still, I think mud pudding is better than dirt pudding. So dirt pudding is better than mud pudding. Cole's been having some hard takes here at uh, at old DreamWorks, though. So they're they're good takes. They're good takes. Okay, we're gonna head into Poe's Kung Fu Training Camp. It's definitely a water area, so we're gonna try not to get wet, right? Half water, half dry. Yeah, it's like half and half. I think the left side over here is dry. So that's not a dry area. Kind of takes the place of Curious George, and there's another one. I don't remember what the other water area was called, but so there's a big bucket up there. We're definitely not going to get into that. Pull! Oh! Pull harder! Harder! Gong a resounding resonance. And this is Mr. Ping's noodle caboodle. Oh, a little play area here. I kind of run in here, maybe. Oh, like a real ninja. Wait, I think that's like. I really don't know what it does. You jump in, buddy, I got you. Oh. Teaching a man karate. Oh, it's kind of like yes. it's like turtle crush. Yeah. Chill out there. Go out there. Ow. I just pray for you to get out there. Guys, how do you the dragon warrior? You guys, today is a super awesome day because today Master Shifu has finally asked yours truly to teach all of you, including people on the benches, so... I don't know what it is, if it's just like, there's no airflow back here, but this water looks really good right now. The kid who didn't want to do the interactive part doesn't want to leave. He wants to stay. Look, it's the pond of perpetual 
wetness. It's a wet pond. <laughs> All ponds are wet. What? All right, we're gonna skadoosh ourselves out of here. Colton did decide he's gonna do the troller coaster. I'll see him in about 25 minutes. We also have Poppy's Playground, which is pretty cool. Um, I will say, this is definitely a step up from what was here. Um, even though what was here was relevant when it first came into being with Woody Woodpecker and Barney, and it kind of just kind of morphed into this nah. And that was pretty cool. Speaking of something cool, Poppy's over here taking pictures. It's a pretty cool fountain right here next to Poppy. There's the Imagination Celebration. We will not be going to that. Uh, it's a pretty cool show. You can definitely see that on YouTube if you're interested. The line was way too long. It is not worth the wait. Okay. Take a drink then, buddy. We'll head on out. How's that sound? Hey, it is just the old Woody Woodpecker, but I like the re-theme though, don't you? If it was, you don't like the re-theme? The troller coaster? You like the Woody Woodpecker better? Woohoo! Another, another hot take from Colton. I just don't like trolls. Ah, uh, it is more like Quinn likes that, because it's singing and dancing. More and, okay, alright. What about uh, the dude troll? What's his name? Jif? Gif? Biff? I don't remember. Branch. What? Branch. Branch, that's right. Branch. All right, let's check out the swamp, Shrek Swamp. All right, we're checking out the Pinocchio Fact Shack. Ring the bell for service. Oh, excuse me. Thank God you're going to cast a spell on me. No, oh, he lied, Colton. He tooted and he lied. He said it was a spell. Did you hear that? Wait, what about a It's a fact checker. Try it again. He's got to tell facts, and if he lies, his nose grows. No, he, he doesn't think this is lovely. He's lying to us. And there he goes. Doesn't give two rips about me. I turn around, he's gone. I said he wants to do. He just wants to come up here and squirt people down below. That seems about right. You get anyone? Oh, so close. A little outhouse slide right here. It's nifty. King Harold Swamp Symphony. Swamp Symphony. Oh. Oh. Step on another one. Oh. Oh. I think we spent more time in DreamWorks than I thought we were going to. That's what I think was funny. Yeah, and we definitely spent more time in DreamWorks than we ever had in the previous part of the park. Yeah. When it was all sorts of different things. So, all right. There are three things I'd like to do here. Mm -hmm. uh, the makeup show. It's the next one at 2.15, so we got about an hour and 15 minutes for that. I want to get to the Born Ultimatum. And then there's also the Universal Store. The Tribute Store is right here. So. Depending on how long the born is, we're either gonna hit born up, hit the tribute, or hit the tribute, hit the born up, or I don't know. We're gonna do those three things, but it's the hot, hottest part of the day, and we need to be indoors because it's hot. And you just ran around the playground for yeah. 45 minutes. We're gonna hit up the tribute store plaza. The last time I was here was on the other side of the park. It flip flops every season, and let's see if we can figure out what the tribute is. Oh, it feels so good in here. That's cool. You got all these, all, all these old new releases. Hope you can't get them off. Midnight Screaming, Danger Road 2, kind of part of the props. Gurg and Ghosts, Trip and Fall. Oh, look, this is awesome. That's cool. Hey, rewind. <laughs> Who is rewind? Oh, you don't even know, buddy. You don't even know. You know? I do. Oh, look at all these cool ones. Small Soldiers, this movie was amazing. E.T. obviously great, Ghostbusters original, fantastic, Jurassic Back Park, Back to the Future, Back to the Future, Shrek, you don't even know about that, they're doing a remake of Twister right now, Twister was probably, that. that was probably the first movie that dad was like, whew, that's a scary movie, and then you have the like, 
it was an actual event. That's why probably what scared me. Field of Dreams, classic. Oh man. Casper, the land before time. Come on now. Oh, and then some more scarier ones down the bottom. Frankenstein. Yeah. Oh, look at this vintage Colt. That is a cassette tape and you'd have to rewind it. You'd go to these stores and you'd rent them at the store and then when you brought it back, you would rewind it before you brought it back because you rewound. Rewind, it's kind. That was a, the memo. That's a big old VHS. Look what I have now compared to that, huh? That's pretty crazy. Wow. Speaking of Back to the Future, there's Back to the Future 1, 2, and 3. Shiny. Oh, someone actually, nothing's in there. I won't. Doom. That just came out. Someone opened it. Yeah, they shouldn't. Men in Black's in here. Jaws. Colt. The Flux Capacitor. 1985. Okay, so definitely a movie theme. Look to it. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. <laughs> this is what was behind these things. What's, what was, oh gosh. What is this stuff? It's just junk. Oh, What's that down there? Though? What is that? That's what is that? that, or that? Yeah, no, that to the right. What is that? Is that a, a Ghostbusters backpack? Look at these TVs. These are like straight 80s and 90 TVs right there. In fact, this is probably a whole everything broken. Oh gosh. You don't even know what this is, do you, Colt? What are those? They're the dials. That's how you turn the channel. You didn't have a remote, you had to click it. Yeah, what do you think about that? What's that dinosaur I don't know. Someone probably does. Someone tell me in the comments. What is that dinosaur? It's a cool ET shirt right there. Midnight Screaming. Look yeah, at all this old stuff, Colt. Oh man, you don't even know what these are, buddy. The first drive. like they got like CD, I don't know, that, cool. that flip flip drives. They're for your computers. You put it in there and it had programs on it. There's a lot of midnight screaming. Yeah, wonder if that's a little hint for Halloween Horror Nights. Who knows? Well, Jaws. It's a cool little ET shirt. Oh, some arcades. And you gotta insert a coin. Where would you even insert? Yeah, I think it's just. I'm sure they can't have video games in here because people have been here all day playing them. <laughs> oh, that. Mega Castle Arcade. Hey, some coins down there. Fake. Gotcha. This, look at this cult. Laser Dungeon, Choose Thy Fate. That's from the, well, I guess it's from Dueling Dragons, which is also from the Howling Horror Nights. Hmm. I wonder how many of these are like little sneak previews for Howling Horror Nights this year. Oh, Ghostbusters? Maybe. Maybe. There's a Jaws theme. A lot of Jaws themes and Ghostbuster themes. Boxer Breeze. Nice. Alright, looks like they're playing uh, Back to the Future Jaws, E.T. and Ghostbusters. Colt just recognizes that have something from every movie. So there's Jaws, Back to the Future, E.T. Ghostbusters, that's pretty awesome. Great catch, Colt. I guess that's what the Stay Puft Giant was sitting here looking at me in the face for. Uh, I don't, have you ever even watched the original Ghostbusters? Oh boy. I've never. You need a movie even... invitation. A movie vacation. I remember the clock. That's when they got back. That's right. Lightning struck the clock. That's 88 miles per hour. Earl the Squirrel shall return. 88 miles per hour. And how many, is it gigawatts or gigawatts? Four gigawatts. Four gigawatts. Either everyone's already in or nobody's in line. Well, that's the sirens for you, buddy. It's almost 
three. All right, let's go to the horror makeup show, Colt. Yeah. See if we can get some AC in here. Three o'clock. That is a Beetlejuice, not Jason. It's just a crazy clown for Halloween Horror Nights. Some mummy stuff. This is cool. Yeah. Go, Colt, go stand real close to that. Real close, I dare you. Get close to it. Get close to it. Nice raptor. Chucky. Halloween Horror Nights, I'm assuming. That's Chucky. The doll. You guys ready to see some blood and guts? Sick people, all right. We got a real makeup artist and creature creator from Hollywood. He's gonna come up on stage and talk to us all about the horror movie stuff. We're lucky to have him here. So please, while we welcome to the stage, my good friend, Mark James. <laughs> you can't hear Mark James. Come on, let's go. I guess how this told you I'm a makeup artist. My job basically gross you out, freak you out, and scare the crap out of you. <laughs> now Universal Studios actually invented the modern day horror film. That is true. And with that in mind, let's take a look at some of the greatest moments from Universal's legacy of horror. All right, now this video's intense. If you think you might be too scared, go ahead and cover your eyes. And make your kids watch. Yeah. Amo <laughs> Alex, como se llama? Maria, mucho gusto, Maria. Right, right over here is Mark. Hola, Maria. Thank you. Ah! Maria. Thank you. Thank you. Right, that's a lot of fun on a Saturday night. Hey, hey. Uh, just one foot. Sorry about that. It's a little nasty. But oh, no. I need you. I need a more. The host of the show. I'll give it back. No, you won't. No, Come on, stop dude. Find somebody what else. My... Maria. <laughs> no, no, no. I'll put that away. We're not gonna use that big rusty knife. Use this smaller, sharper knife, right? On three, just let it rip. One, two, three. Oh, wait, 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 no, wait, wait, no, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, that was good. Uh, what I just remembered. Well, we have a lot of kids here. Scar is born, ready? One, two, three, scream! Ah! scene he designed mechanical heads that change shape. Nice. All right, so we start here. It's a fiberglass understructure. It's kind of like the skull based on the actor's face, covered with the latex wolf mask, and then they change shape, right? So it's running on a pneumatic system. Just a it's simple air pressure. Air pressure, exactly. Pushes out the jaw, the snout, whatever. Stretches the latex, so it looks like it's growing, transforming, right? There were several heads, very detailed. Porcelain does to work. Real hair on there. There's real hair? Oh, sure, yeah. Where do you get that? Uh, this gentleman right here. Thanks for oh. being here, sir. <laughs> nice for you. you. All nice. right. I miss you. <laughs> <laughs> We, we still use this today? 100%. Yeah, but today they probably combine it with digital effects, right? CGI and all that. What do you think of that, buddy? It was okay. Yeah? I, I laughed a little bit, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. It was like slapstick humor. Krusty, is this a nuclear reactor? Oh. What do you know about nuclear energy, kid? Leave that to us clowns. Oh, uh, uh, Mr. Krusty, sir, the reactor is terribly dangerous with the linkages and the crackages. I rode Men in Black twice, back to back, single rider. Took about uh, 20 minutes for both rides, and then we stood in line for at least 40 minutes for Simpsons ride, and now we're heading to eat. Lombard Seafood and Grill. Looks like I rated it up. Rain too, so it's a good time to eat. Okay, here we are at Lombard's. I say we have the best seat. Right next to the old aquarium. There's not a whole lot of fishies in here, but... What is that fishies? What are those fishies do? What do they do? They swim. All right, bud, what'd you get to eat? Lombard's burger, fries, and broccoli. Lombard's burger, 
Lombard burger, fries, and broccoli. Yes. All right. And I want the Wharf burger with fries. No broccoli. Unless it has like lots of cheese on it, I'm not eating broccoli. Colt, want to take a bite of the sandwich? You're already munching on those fries. It's a big old bite. Oh boy. Good? I'm gonna try to replace the broccolini, because it's not broccoli, it's broccolini. And uh, my burger looks good too. I already took a nice big old chunk out of it. This is a devil's triple chocolate cake, and Colt said... It's a daddy's triple chocolate cake. <laughs> I'm okay with that. That looks good. We'll see. So hard. Here we go. Mm. It's dry. Shucks. My review of Lombard's is that, you know, we had went to a seafood place and got burgers, so <laughs> what do you expect? The burger was fine. The dessert was fine. Yeah, we didn't like our chocolate cake. It was not very good at all. In fact, it may be the exact way of how to not make a chocolate cake. Make it not moist and hard on the top, frozen like you just pulled it out of the freezer. It was atrocious, actually. It made me mad. Because <laughs> I like a good chocolate cake, and that was, I mean, the swamp pudding that we got for seven bucks over in DreamWorks land was. It, that beats that by so much. Oh, yeah, it was night and day difference. Colt just went and did Minion Mayhem at Comic Con, like what, four times? Three. Three times? I did it once. And uh, there's a walk on every time. So we're gonna head into the last land that we haven't been to yet, which is, yep, in Diagon Alley. We haven't explored this part yet, have we? I'm not even sure if everyone went back here before. Ow. Watch your head. Oh, there are the beds that move around like crazy. Mm -hmm. On the night bus. They should literally just, like, nail them to the ground. Oh, man. Thought maybe. You could get in. Hmm. All right, found Colton in. Oh, it's packed in here today. Holy manoli, it's packed. Wow, it's packed. Ooh. We're gonna head into Green Gots. This is a 45 minute wait. I think we're gonna try to single ride this. And I hope we can hit a tail of the Beelman Bard before we leave today. There we go. <laughs> well, I think there's two more things we want to do tonight. We want to hopefully hit up Tales of Beelman Bard. We want to hit up the new drone show from Universal Studios. Yep. And then the third thing that we want to do is Colton has decided he likes my drink and we're gonna get a pair of fuzzy orange juice. You sure you don't want to try the tongue tying lemon squash? I don't like squash. <laughs> what about the fishy green ale?
musical notes strung together in just the right key and tempo can inspire the imagination taking us back in time leaving us wanting more and as our cinematic symphony gently fades into the calm of the night these enchanting melodies will continue to echo within us becoming universal harmonies that inspire us all to live out our own epic adventures. the sensational cinematic show there the horror or like no the light show at the end the light oh. show with the drones I like the yeah it was pretty cool 